Hi again. This time I have a repair that since around 2018 became very common. As before, you just needed to replace the part and that's it. Yes, as the video title says, it's a battery replacement video. I don't have a video like this on my YouTube channel, so that will be first. Don't mind the 87% battery life. It rains fast. Not only we need to do a long procedure to replace the battery, we have to deal with the bad battery scotch. For the new battery, it comes without the BMS. It comes with a double-sided scotch, BMS cover, and a protection tape for, to cover the BMS. Now on the old battery, remove that protection tape on the BMS. There are two of them. Leave the second one as we are gonna use it later. Carefully with your fingers bend over the BMS as so. Keep in mind that it's glued to the other side to the battery. So be careful and if you need to apply heat to make it easier to bend, do it so you don't damage the BMS by bending it. Remove the second protection tape to reveal the battery pullers and save the tape for later. Now the battery pullers has a second fault that you need to bend so you can disconnect the battery from the BMS. Do it with your fingers and be gentle as the BMS is very delicate. I cannot stress that enough. To disconnect the battery, leave the roots that are soldered to the BMS and remove the battery pullers where it's welded, as in the video. I know it's a hard work, but I found it to be the best method. Set the priorities. You need the BMS alive and you have enough polar length on the new battery, so you need to do this method. Clean the leftover welding on the BMS polars so you can solder the new battery flat on them. Mm -hmm. 
As you can see, we have the same BMS rules on the battery welded. We need to remove one part of them as we have the second part on the BMS. In the market, there is many different batteries with many different polar lengths and shapes. You need to deal with the batteries you have, as you see it's necessary. Add solder to the pullers. I use a special solder. We'll leave a link to it in the description. Also add solder to the pullers on the BMS. Now with a very low temperature, Solder the two parts together. I have a BMS holder, so I can solder the polars easily. This method prevents the BMS from overheating and bending. Activate the BMS by injecting 4.2 volts on the battery connector. Now we can assemble the battery. Weird thing to say. So for the phone to be able to read the new battery, as a new one, we'll have to do a couple of tricks. First, connect another battery so the phone has to display important battery message. Second, connect the new battery to Canly programmer to the right model connector and connect the programmer to your computer. And open the Canly program. Man, that's a lot of pro. No, never mind. Click read and change the battery cycle and percentage. Now connect the battery with the Canly battery flex and click write a couple of times for confirmation. Then connect the battery with the flex to the phone and turn it on. As you can see it says 100%. Now remove the battery and connect it again without the flex. As you can see, we tricked the phone into thinking that the battery is now has a 100% life. Unfortunately, this remains only if you don't reset or restore your phone. So, the camera kept rolling, 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 and I have additional footage to show how hard this job is. 
So that will be it for this video, I hope you enjoyed it. And if you did, hit the like button and consider subscribing to the channel for more interesting repair videos. And if you have any other questions, just leave them in the comment section down below and I will try to answer them. Or you can contact me through the links in the description. Thanks for watching, see you next time.